Good morning, students. Today we are going to start to learn our first poem, Daddy fell into the pond. So let's take your English connection books, cover it, write down your name on it, and come on the page number nine. Page number nine. Open page number nine. Look at the picture. Very beautiful picture is here. Very nice scenery is here. And uh, daddy is falling into the pond here. Duck and drakes are quacking because uh, daddy is falling into the pond. Picture of pond is here. Look at the picture and uh, enjoy it. Let's move to us. Our poem. You have to read with me poem loudly. First we shall read poem and then I will explain it. Everyone grumbled the sky was grey. We had nothing to do and nothing to say. We were nearing the end of a dismal day and then seemed to be nothing beyond. And then daddy fell into the pond and everyone's face grew merry and bright and Timothy danced for sheer delight. Give me the camera quick oh quick. He is crawling out of the duckweed. Click. Then gardener suddenly slapped his knee and doubled up shaking silently. And the ducks all quacked as if they were daft. And it sounded as if the old drake laughed. Oh, there wasn't a thing that didn't respond when daddy fell into the pond. This poem is written by Alfred Noyes. Students, come on the first stanza once again. See, read with me. Hmm? This poem describes a funny incident. In this poem, poet describes a funny incident. Funny incident means what? That causes you laughter or amusement. And read it, you will learn about humor in writing. About humor in writing means what? You will learn how to make writing funny you will learn the tricks how to make writing funny by reading this poem by learning this poem okay come on the first line everyone grumbled everyone grumbled means what everyone means what everyone means children children were grumbling children were grumble means what to complain everyone we are grumbling. Children were grumbling. Grumbling means complaining. Complaining about what? Complaining about the day. The sky was grey. The sky was grey. It means what? The sky was full of clouds. Because of the clouds, the sky had grey color. It means which type of weather was there? Which type of weather? Cloudy weather was there. Mostly in rainy season, the sky has full of cloud. Hmm? And here also, the sky was full of clouds. And we had nothing to do and nothing to say. We had nothing to do. It means children had nothing to do anything special or nothing to say anything interesting. We were nearing the end of a dismal day. It means... The day was coming to over and there seemed to be nothing beyond. Everyone means children were thinking that something good would happen. Something interesting would happen. And the whole day had already passed. We were nearing the end of dismal day. Means the whole day has already passed and they didn't have anything to do special. And poet used here dismal day for describing the atmosphere of that day. Dismal word poet used here. Why? Because that day was dull. Because nothing bright had happened in whole day. And student uh, children were not expecting also about anything happen new. There was nothing so exciting happen in the whole day and the day was about to end. No excitement was happened there. Students, when does day become bright and merry? When does? 
day becomes bright and merry when something exciting will happen with you but on that day the sky was already grew gray and there was nothing any any special nothing any exciting thing for doing and saying to the children and that is why poet used a dismal word for describing the atmosphere of that day and the day was coming to the end